I want to talk about an, another absolutely ridiculous lie that Cecilia Stein had managed to convince everyone in her group about. Now, for the men who are listening, I know this topic seems to make most of you extremely uncomfortable. For the women listening, well, this is very normal for all of us. Okay, so basically brace yourself for the ridiculousness of this. Cecilia had convinced every one of us that when it comes to that time of the month, aka when a woman has her period, it's exceptionally dangerous because the blood draws demons. I'm not joking. She explained to all of us that demons are naturally drawn to blood. So whenever it's that time of the month for us, we become exceptionally vulnerable towards demons, uh, demon attacks and demons following us and so on. So basically, whenever it was that time of the month for any of us, we had to be very cautious of coming into physical contact with Cecilia because, I mean, demons were following us. <laughs> and if we were too close, uh, too physically close to Cecilia, the demons would then be able to attack Cecilia because we were basically having tag along demons because it was that time of the month. <laughs> and as if this nonsense wasn't bad enough, every time Cecilia knew that it that someone in her group was having their period, she would then accordingly act out. Uh, she would pretend that she was being attacked by demons which would then result in her, oh, in, in various ways, uh, she displayed so many different demon attacks. I mean, one would be her falling out, falling onto the floor, convulsing, um, passing out, uh, or she would randomly be thrown against a wall, or she would suddenly battle with breathing. The list, honestly, was endless. But... At the end of it, the person who, <laughs> I mean, it's natural for a woman to have a period every month. So whoever was responsible for coming into contact with Ce Cecilia at that certain time of the month, they were then blamed for whatever happened to Cecilia. And in order to basically prevent any demon attacks, everyone basically had to announce and I'm not joking, everyone had to announce when, it, when they were having their period. I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. And then you had to undergo, or let's just call it a ritual for argument's sake, because this is, this is Cecilia we're talking about here. So using the word ritual is not that far-fetched. You would basically be, you would have to be prayed over. Uh, oil would have to be put onto your forehead. And wherever Cecilia was and wherever you were, if you were in the same room, I had to undergo a, a long list of extreme measures in order to make sure that no demons were able to get close enough to you, or even if they were with you, they weren't able to get to Cecilia. It was absolutely ridiculous. And this happened constantly. Well, I mean, okay, not constantly, but this happened often every month because there were quite a few women that were in the group. And even though this is absolutely uh, absurd and just plain ridiculous for a lack of a better word, but it also becomes extremely sad because when Marcel was first introdu introduced to the group, she was only eight years old. But when she matured, as soon as she got her first period, it was possibly the most devastating thing I'd ever heard when it came to Marcel, at least in the beginning. Cecilia and Miranda basically had their uh, sideline meeting with each other regarding Marcel having a period. And especially more so because Marcel and LaRue were often staying by Cecilia for days on end. So this was basically a threat to Cecilia's livelihood. So 
they looked at various methods, but resorted to one extremely quickly. And I honestly don't know who was the one that suggested this. I don't know if it was Cecilia or if it was Miranda. At this point, it could have been either because they both seem to think pretty much the same. But again, like I've also said in previous recordings, if Miranda had suggested it, Cecilia would have to be the one to approve it in order for anything to happen because Cecilia, whatever Cecilia said, had you know that's what had to be done. If Cecilia did not agree, it would never be done. It was just a no-go. There was no question about it. Uh, you just had to do without question. So regardless of whoever came up with this idea, I guess it doesn't matter. But basically, Marcel was taken for injections every single month in order for her to not ever have her period. The injections were to prevent Marcel from ever potentially bringing demons into close contact to Cecilia. So for possibly the entire time or the entire amount of years that Marcel knew Cecilia, she probably never experienced one period. And I know this was a topic that honestly it bugged me because for a woman that would disrupt many things in your body. I mean, especially for such an extensive time period, what would this do to this poor kid? And I know that when Marcel and LaRue were first arrested and put into custody, one of the first things, to be honest, one of the first things that hit me was, I wonder what Marcel is going to do. I wonder how she is going to feel when she experiences her period for the very first time in jail. I mean, all these years, she's never had to deal with it. She's never known what, you know, what to do, what not to do, and so on. I mean, all of us women know what I'm talking about. But for the first time, uh, in all these years later, that would be when Marcel experienced having a period. I mean, it, it's a mind-boggling thing, and it's also an extremely sad thing. And I also, I highly doubt that any injections could have been arranged while they were, while the kids were in custody. But, I mean, this is the reality of the insanity when it came to an extremely natural part of a woman's body. Being a woman was basically a threat to Cecilia's livelihood. I mean, as much as we all like to make jokes about that time of the month and how much we wish we never had it and, uh, you know, having PMS and how much of a pain it is and so on. No matter what jokes we make, this was taken to a whole new level. I mean, whenever someone was on their period, it was, it resorted down to looking like demons were attacking Cecilia. And, you know, having, uh, you know, everyone pray over the other person because they were now a posed threat for those few days. It was absolutely as absurd. As a sideline note here, I never personally ever mentioned to anybody when it was that time of the month for me. I mean, for one, <laughs> who on earth wants to announce to a group of people that they're on their period? I mean, for one, that's absolutely absurd and bizarre. And it's also personal. Who on earth wants to do something like that? And added, there are also some questions and thoughts regarding that. Because in all that time period, I mean, this went on for three, three at least years. For when I was friends with Cecilia, if not three and a half years. Where not one person ever questioned me if I was ever on my period. So, I mean, that is rather strange because everyone else was questioned. But then again, uh, Ria and myself, we were mostly separated from everyone in the group, as well from each other. So there was a huge division, even though we were a group. But even with regards to that, Cecilia herself never asked me, where she did ask everybody else. And... I don't know if maybe she assumed if I was also on the injection, but then again, 
she would have asked because this is her livelihood that she was pretending was at risk because demons would have been following me <laughs> because I was, you know, uh, on my bed. But the other thought is, and this happened quite a few times, whenever, and I must admit that this is feeling extremely personal to verbally and publicly say, but there were quite a few times where this whole scenario would be brought up in the group and uh, there was either an argument because someone was on their period and it was it boiled down to one of the other people and so on it was made out into this huge hoo-ha and then there were other times where you know nothing bizarre was happening and in both those incidences or both types of incidences should I say I was actually on my period and I eventually started to take note of this that even when demons should be supposedly following me posing as a supposed threat to Cecilia's life because it was that time of the month for me and I would be in very close physical contact with Cecilia nothing would happen so uh question mark question mark question mark i mean i i honestly did find it rather strange and i honestly also reasoned it out within myself to a number of factors basically one it's nonsense two which the the nonsense reasoning to be honest was a very minor answer to to this whole scenario because of the brainwashing that went on but the most valid reason by that point in my mind was that I was somehow sealed off in every way and in every aspect uh, so even if it was that time of the month for me I would not have tag along demons and Cecilia would not be attacked because I was her best friend so I had to have this ultimate protection uh, from Cecilia from her parts and so on the same with Rhea because we were the two most vital members of the group so we would have the most vital protection this is the type of brainwashing that we had and sadly that was my main reasoning at that time point for why nothing would happen to Cecilia when it was that time of the month for me but to be honest I mean going back and thinking about whenever I would hear one of the members you know, bring up this whole topic, you know, announce to Cecilia or pre-announce, should I say. I mean, Cecilia would receive a text message or a phone call, basically warning her that, look, it's that time of the month for me, brace yourself, I'm on my way to see you. Uh, <laughs> it's absurd. But more so, I, I just think about what happened to myself. I mean, this poor child she never she i mean she went straight on to the injection as soon as she started to mature never once in all these years uh had that you know had a period and yeah in all honesty i mean that sounds awesome but at the same time what damage would that have done to her body and i don't even look i i'm not a i'm not that in tune with a whole bunch of medical experience or knowledge but what would that have done to her also emotionally and mentally because I know there's a lot of factors uh, that play out so I would think that at least to some degree it would have affected her emotions and it would have affected her maybe even dare I say mentally but I'm not sure exactly what I'm trying to aim at yeah in saying that but emotions, definitely. I mean, each of us have at least seen one woman or no one woman that has extreme PMS symptoms. So if that can affect you, you know, once a month from with having your moods go from A to Z, you know, just in those few days, then what would it do if you never experienced having your period for all these years when you're actually supposed to? What would that have actually done to myself? 
And then also, how would she feel once she was held in custody? I mean, the confusion, maybe. But by then, after all these years, she more than likely would have had an extreme fear and an extreme concern because she was brainwashed into believing, you know, in, for the first time, you know, she's having a period, she's bleeding, bloods are, uh, sorry, demons are being drawn to her blood, she's now going to be attacked. This poor kid must have been in a panic state. I can only imagine what went through her mind. It's the It was the first time that she would have experienced this for herself. And added with the nonsense reasoning that Cecilia had made everyone believe. Obviously now Marcel knows it's a whole lot of nonsense. But I just feel sorry for, for her from start to finish uh, with regards to this topic. But uh, yeah, this, this is just one of the most, one of at least, the most bizarre, ridiculous lies. And apparently it is dangerous or was dangerous to be a woman around Cecilia Stane.